Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to practice passing a closure to an array. As a, um, yeah, no, sorry, pass a closure to a function. That's what we're going to do. We're going to practice passing a closure to a function and then even an array of closures to a function to get our and get our um, our output. So, um, you know, again, if, if some of the higher order function stuff is confusing, you need to look at some of the other courses, but um, on to the next, let's go. So what I'm gonna do now is you have, we already have the closures, right? Find index and fetch count. So we're gonna, we're gonna use fetch count this time because we're already using find index. <laughs> we're gonna pass fetch count to a function. <clears throat> so, um, which is easy, right? We're gonna say, actually we're gonna do both of these. <clears throat> Funk, and this is simple. Funk, your process. Process closures. Process closure, right? And part one will um, parameter will be the array. The other parameter will be the target int. The other parameter will be your closure, right? <clears throat> and this closure is gonna be this. Um, yeah, so you're gonna say, right, we're gonna do it like that. And in this case, we're gonna have a optional because that's what we have. That's a signature of these. And we're gonna say integer for the first one, integer, well, an array of integer for the first one, integer for the second one. <clears throat> okay, and all this returns, you know, an optional it. Let's say for argument's sake. And these are the parameters. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, we have this we return right return our closure array comma number right and this returns what we're looking for so now we're going to call it. P R O C E S S closure array is array number. We're going to say, um, oh, 33, right? <clears throat> then right here, oh crap, all right, return. Right and R um num print Hold up, uh, process closure. <coughs> Give me a second. That's wrong. I don't know why I'm thinking. And then closure should be uh um should be uh fetch count. <laughs> I don't know. I treated I, I treated that like a um trailing closure. That's a, that's a subject for another lesson. And there it is right there. Three. Because 33 shows in here three times. Right, um, 45. 
Junior twice, 77. <clears throat> Sorry, thought I clicked on it. He's in there once. Okay. That's how we pass a closure to a. <clears throat> now we can also do this. We can pass multiple closures, right? We'll call this what process arrays. So actually, now that I finished that, let's go ahead and um, create a funk process arrays. Process closures, right? Funk process closures, all the same around. All right. Uh, I hate these typos. I was just getting in my way and it's getting on my nerves. Okay. So now I can say this output array. Okay, I need to have an output array. Okay. To name the array. And I'm going to say closure dot. Um, oh, um, no, shit. For item in closures output array dot append item dot Array number must be unwrapped. The volume must, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the safe way to go about this, but that's for another lesson unwrapping. And I think I've already done that. So and then output array. And so now I go here and call this function process closures, right? Process closures. And um, the should be array, right? Um, count and find index. Array 33. And the closures should be, what are the closures? Find index and fetch count. Right, and one should be three and the other should be four. That's it. So we did the process. So now this is, um, that is the, the ability for um, passing a closure to an array as a parameter. And these, you know, your process, your array and your number. So again, if you're confused by that, Go back, rewatch the video, break out your playground and play with it. Yep. On to the next.